Ladies and gentlemen, DSP here, and welcome to the third and final episode of the latest episodic narrative adventure from Don't Nod Entertainment. Tell me why. And it's time for the conclusion. We now <clears throat> are down to the nitty gritty. We're going to find out exactly what the hell is going on with these two twins. Why do they have this psychic connection? Who is the mysterious Mad Hunter who apparently was haunting or driving their mother uh, to the brink of insanity? And who was this person who was blackmailing the mother and or showing up and, and, and kind of threatening the mother? As we saw in the last episode, okay? <clears throat> um, so here's the thing. Last episode, the end of episode two, we had some big plot developments and some twists. The big twist at the end of episode two was that the father of the twins very much was alive and was in the life of the mother and somehow threatening her. Indirectly, directly, we're not sure. All we saw was a cutscene where there was a boat and he was on the boat talking to the mother. The mother asked for money. He refused and was kind of threatening her. And she basically told him, never come back. Okay. So, I've been thinking about this since last week. Put some thought into it over the weekend. I was like, who are the potential candidates? Who could that, that guy be? If you remember, there was a story where, I think it was Eddie, who's the cop, who raised, uh, oh god, what's her name? Ashley? I can't remember her name now. Allison? Allison. The cop who raised Allison, uh, while the other twin was in jail, or juvie, uh lost his wife. Apparently his wife left him or murdered herself. It's not clear. She may have committed suicide thinking that he was cheating on her with the twin's mother. Even though we don't potentially know if that was correct or not. It may not be true. It may actually just be fabrication or she thought it and lost her mind or whatever. So, maybe it's Eddie. Or, maybe it could have been Sam. The guy who was always around to help out no matter what. But, I don't really think it's Sam, reason being if you read their storybooks that they made as a kid, Sam is represented by the bear character, and the bear character, according to the stories, was always turned down by the princess, who's the representative of their mother. So it sounds to me like Sam was always interested in the mother, but the mother always turned him down. So now you're like, okay, it's probably not Eddie, <clears throat> right? It's probably not Sam, so who is it? I have a theory. Now, I could be completely wrong, and I, this isn't a spoiler, because I don't know, I did not look up the plot, I swear to you, I have no idea if this is true or not. My theory is that the father is someone who they're, they're going to try to tri trick you and do a twist here in this episode to try to make you, like, say, oh, whoa, I never would have thought of that. I think that the father is actually Tessa from, the, from the, uh, the grocery store. No, I'm just kidding. No, I think that the father is a character who we've actually seen in the story but had absolutely no reason to be there. Who's the one character in this game <clears throat> who has had <clears throat> absolutely no reason to be in the game at all up to this point? Do you know the answer? I'm going to give you guys a second to think about it. Think about it. In the last two episodes, who was the character who was mysteriously in the game but seemed to have no reason to be in the game? The boat driver? Incorrect. Ah, someone got it. Someone got it. Cookie Monster said, the guy who's also on the boat with the twins in episode one. Remember, there was a mysterious guy who was also riding the boat along with them, and he just had a, a almost innocuous conversation with them, but what was his point in being there? In episode two, he was in the convenience store, just there, right? So here's my theory. My theory is, he's the father, and he found out that his son, which used to be his daughter, was going to get out of juvie and come back to town. And he was afraid that these two would go digging through the past and find out about him being the father because there had been evidence left somewhere there in the residence about it. So he decided to go back the exact same time as them. He's been spying on them the entire time from the sidelines unbeknownst to them he was the one who burned down the barn to try to hide the information even though he failed at burning it down he didn't know where the information was so he just tried to burn the whole thing down they ended up finding it anyway see i think that's what this is <clears throat> i think that's exactly what this is i think he's been the side character who's been watching from the sidelines the whole time because why else would that character even be in the game every other character in the game has had significance except him 
So I think that's going to be the twist, is he is the father who's been doing all this. Now, is he also the Mad Hunter character from the storybook? That we don't know. In addition, we have zero explanation as to how these, these people got these psychic powers. Remember, in the storybook that we read last episode, supposedly one day they went out into the forest and there was someone there who, who they, they stole memories from this person. Remember, they're supposed to be the Goblin Twins. They stole memories from a person and then said they would give them back if the person gave them the ability to read other people's thoughts, but they got tricked and they can only read each other's thoughts. So, did they actually meet someone in real life who gave them their psychic powers? And if that's the case, who was it? And do they have any bearing on the story whatsoever? Or is that just going to remain unexplained? I don't know. We have a whole episode ahead of us. You got to wonder what's going to be in store for us in this third and final episode. Okay? So, I've actually been thinking a lot about this over the last week, if you can't tell. I've actually been really thinking about this plot... And I think I got it right. I think. Could be wrong. I think I got it right. At least to the point of who the father is. Okay? So, alright. Are you guys ready? By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm in a new setup now. If you've been watching this playthrough all along, you would be wondering, what the hell feels like in a different chair? There's no love seat. Yeah, so now, I'm in a new chair. I'm able to talk directly to you guys when I want to. I can actually rotate and play the game nice and comfortably here in my new setup. It's nice. I like this. I can easily update the leaderboards and everything. What's up, Wubag Baby? How you doing today? Derek, what's going on, sir? Oh, Derek's first time you sell a new setup? Yeah, this is... It's it's comfortable. Let's put it that way. This setup is comfortable because I have the ability to kind of just chill and relax and, you know, we can have a nice narrative ride here and see your reactions. If we get contributions, I can easily update the leaderboard. Everything's good. Everything's good here. In fact, you know what? Just for the hell of it, why not us do a silly celebratory bubble blow just for the hell of it because I feel like it. There you go. Just because I feel like it. No particular reason. And see how easy I can do that? Because the bubbles are right over here now. Now I've completely covered my controller with bubbles. <laughs> I completely covered my controller with soap. That's not good. I have to clean this. I have to wipe this now. It's got, My hand's going to be soapy. A soapy mess. I, I guess it's okay. There's way worse things you can do than get soap all over your hands, right? I'm not eating like a greasy piece of pizza or something. I was never one for eating when I was uh, gaming for you guys. You know, I've been doing this for 12 years. I just think it's weird. Like, people, oh, I'm going to eat greasy chips and snacks and food here. Mukbang the stream. And it's fucking stupid. Like, you're here to hang out with me and watch me play a game. You don't want to see me get disgusting grease all over my shit, right? All right, here we go. Let's do it, guys. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. Oh boy. What is the truth? It had come for the wise princess, <clears throat> driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. Right, no one else in the town wants to tell them anything. So they <laughs> dug and searched and asked hurtful questions learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to is that supposed to be but tessa the took its toll or tess or tessa i can't remember her name too much for sister goblin and yet brother goblin kept diving right he wants to keep going she doesn't she's had sister enough sister goblin finally said enough she doesn't want to learn about the dad but he does and that was how the goblins found themselves separated again hurt and confused with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. Cotta Fade has complimented my jersey. Thank you, Cotta Fade. It's football season. It's time to start wearing jerseys on the streams. <laughs> I don't care about football at all. <laughs> I just happen to have these jerseys around for a million years. <clears throat> oh, and she sleeps in a full sweater. Listen, wake up. What the hell? Her mother? If anything, I think we can agree the graphics in Don't Nod games have definitely improved over the years. What the shit? What is this? Uh, she get teleported to the moon? <laughs> what the hell? 
So that's the mother. What is she doing? Killed me. Well, yeah, she did. She technically, she stabbed her mother to death. Now, in these pictures, she's drawing her as the mad huntsman, right? Huh. Do, 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 do. Nobody remembers Remember Me. You're right. The name of the game was Remember Me from Don't Not. No one remembers the game. <laughs> I guess it was supposed to be ice. Okay. What the? <laughs> she face plants. <clears throat> I always face plant in my sleep. <clears throat> Battle Duck 9000 just sent me $10. This is what happens when you do Up Up Ollie. That is a command from the Tony Hawk franchise, which I'm currently playing. But uh, I guess you face plant when you Up Up Ollie. <laughs> uh oh. What is going on here? <clears throat> She's seeing visions of her dead mom. It's not good. She's seeing trees float off the walls. That's definitely not good. <laughs> what the hell did you have to eat before you went to sleep? <clears throat> Lay off those those uh, supreme burritos from Taco Bell. She this is what happens. And find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman. Alone in a deep and ancient wood. Derek, this was originally a Carolina Panthers jersey. Originally. Before it was modified for my purposes. <clears throat> the very Alan Wakeish, actually, right now. With the whole leak and everything. <clears throat> Morpheus says the first two hours of this episode we're gonna be bored, but the end is strong. Just like the first two episodes, okay. So prepare to go back to sleep after this intro again. <laughs> Huh? You killed me. No! Ah! You killed me! What? Uh, no, you didn't kill Tyler. Chapter 3, Inheritance. Okay. Cookie with Rookie wants a free shout out. No, I refuse. <clears throat> Move back, baby. I don't watch pro wrestling anymore, so I don't know anything about, you know, if AEW is better than WWE. I did see that Rusev, you know, now called by his real name, Miro, just signed with them. I did see that last night. But... Okay. Oh, no, not again. Three episodes in a row. They really got to do this shit. Three episodes in a row. They got to play hipster music. Oh, it's unbearable. They just can't get over an episode without the hipster music. <laughs> Come on. You know, I just got my hearing back from a double ear infection. And there's some times when I wish I still had the ear infection. <laughs> to block out my hearing. Oh, come on. This hipster shit, dude. Oh, my God. Delicious syrup. Uh. Tell me why we have to hear this shitty song Tell me why I have to fucking play alone This is bad uh. He wrote a note He wrote a note, it says turn down that goddamn hipster music you fucking hippie <laughs> What the fuck's your problem? Now she's drowning herself. What is going on here? So she literally holds herself up in her room because Tyler wanted to keep pushing and finding out about their dad, and she doesn't. So she just wants to, like, stay indoors and not do anything, huh? <laughs> This isn't fringe, fringy, and indie enough. 
So I don't buy it. Should we do She is trying to drown herself. What was that? <laughs> what is going on? No, John Meister, I do not think the mother is still alive. That would be insane. She's buried. The empty casket? I don't think so. <laughs> I started... Oh, here we go. I started collecting the documents you need for your rental application. Left a file for you downstairs in the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet D for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. P.S. My famous book of buckwheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. Okay. So basically, rental. So she wants to move out. She wants to get her own place now. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Yeah, you're going to get your shit together. And you're going to fucking turn this off immediately. We don't want to hear this. You can't. They won't let you. Fuck. I could do my laundry. Yeah, you could stop being yeah. lazy. Maybe later. It's disgusting. Wash your fucking clothes. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Why does she have a Vicky t-shirt? <laughs> Who would listen to this music? I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. You book a one-way ticket to a set of earplugs? Oh my god. What the fuck? How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? <laughs> I gotta think about something else. It happens sometimes in life. You have identical twins, and next thing you know, they're very different people, right? Just between us. What the fuck is that? Uh. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox. 12. She's a smoker? Yeah. Now, wait a minute. No, 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 The game's saying she's a smoker? We played two episodes. She hasn't had a single cigarette. She's not a... That's bullshit. They're gonna pretend now like she's a smoker. Yeah, right. A real smoker would have been fucking smoking like crazy during this game. Especially with all the stress and shit. That's complete bullshit. Open the door. Open the door. Open it. I'm strapped in the room forever. There we go. What the hell? Look at that thing. <laughs> oh. Very exciting. Thanks. Thanks for making that interactive. What's this? I miss the slopes. She's the skate. Uh, ski looks so snowboard. Here. Yeah, she's the snowboard. The days huh. have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Actually, it's funny that they say that. I just read a news article that here in Washington State, we may actually have a cold, snowy winter with a lot of snow this coming year. That the actual conditions out in the in the ocean are looking like it, we may. It's like, I think they said 65 to 75 percent chance we're gonna have a cold and snowy winter, which usually we don't have. Usually we have a very mild winter. We may have an annoyingly what? snowy winter this year. What the hell? Okay. That's I weird. Probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. She was gonna have a memory and it disappeared. Huh. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. All right, battle at nine thousand to another five dollars. Says, open the door, get on the floor. Everybody play the quiet man. No, that's not the lyrics. Well, Battle Duck, thank you for the five dollar tip. Okay. <laughs> the quiet man is not in the cards. How dare you? <clears throat> is this the kitchen? What's this say? He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Thank you so much for bringing our children home safe last weekend, dear uh, Chief Brown. I did, forgot to read the first line, dear Chief Brown. Without you, they might have gotten behind the wheel, and who knows what could have happened to them or anyone else. We'll always be grateful for your wisdom. Thanks again for keeping this off the books. They're good kids who made a mistake, and Lord knows how a police record can compromise a child's future. We know they'll remember your words for a long time, but please rest assured that we will do whatever we can to make sure they understand the extent of what could have occurred so they can raise awareness among their peers in the community. Of course, now they're going to argue that... 
Oh, he's easy on other people's kids, but Tyler, he sends to juvie. Right? <clears throat> so what's I weird to is... That paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. Paperwork? What paperwork? Oh, the paperwork for the rental. What, can I go in here? What the heck? It's the other I side. I pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? Oh, it's his bedroom. So basically she's snooping right now. She shouldn't be doing this, right? <laughs> okay. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. In the Superior Court for the sake of Alaska, at the Dulles Crossing Family Court, the matter of the protective proceeding of Allison Ronin, born 1994, Order appointing guardian of a minor. Yeah. So he became her legal guardian. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Which was the uh, program, the second chance program for Tyler. Well, who the hell did you think it was paying for? You think it's, that shit's free? That was a good memory. Even though Tyler couldn't come. Her graduation? Okay. To... What do we got on here? Fish? <laughs> a whole salmon just sitting on top of his bed? Salmon are huge in Alaska. Like, that's where they, a lot of uh, salmon that we eat here in the United States are caught. So, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm surprised there hasn't been, like, more salmon involved in the game. Hmm. How's that? I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing. Claire? I, I shouldn't be snooping in here. Okay. He got a phone number that says Claire. Would that have any significance? Someone call that number, see who picks up. Actually, no, it's 555. It's not a real number. She stole it? No, she put it up there. What'd she do that for? Her? <clears throat> hmm. Was that whiskey? He had whiskey in his closet. A nice nightcap before you go to sleep. I haven't had whiskey in a long time. I like whiskey, but whiskey gives you like a, a hangover sometimes, so I, I don't really drink it that much. In a while. Oh, you just sits there collecting dust. Of course Eddie plays the saxophone, right? Of course he does. <clears throat> okay. Nin Star Rune Charity says, Personal opinion, the reason the vest goal did so well is everyone could see physical representations of hitting the tip skull even if they weren't there when they were hit. Cheer swivels only benefit those who are there in the moment. People will come in late. Don't get anything for thought. I said that myself, Nin Star Rune. During the, the vest streak, I said, I feel that's why the vest streak ran so long because people liked seeing the vest and here you go it's a representation you see it in every video or whatever you see what i mean i agree with you that's why i've asked you guys what are some be better things you'd like to see that wouldn't be intrusive to the streams wearing a hat and shit is intrusive to the streams can't do that you know this is personal <clears throat> my dearest son i know i'm not getting better this time so i wanted to write a few things down for you sounds like his dad's dying i'm sorry to be leaving you so soon oh my god yeah I hate, I had you late in my life, but I still thought you would be more time. It makes me happy to know you'll have the clan when I am gone and you will have your auntie to look after you. You've always seemed to know when it was time to leave. From time, the time you were a year old, I knew which shoes belonged on which feet. You used to bring me mine whenever I was getting ready to go somewhere. I could never figure out how you knew I was ready to leave, but there you'd be with my shoes every time. <clears throat> you never cried or made a fuss. Just help me on my way. I hope this leaving will be just as easy and though I won't need you to fetch my shoes, I know you'll help me on my way. Your thing has always been, been to accept what it is and to do what needs to be done. I'm so proud of you for joining the police force. People are going to look to you as a leader now. I know you won't let them down. Oh, this is from the past because he's been on the police force for a while, right? Um, <clears throat> Please help the young people remember your way of our, our way of life. We have thrived as a people since time before memory because of our cultural values. Don't let them lose that and remember how important it is to attend to everyone, not just the ones who fit in. It's our way to lift each other up. Everyone has something to offer in the community. They may not see it in themselves, so you've got to show them. Help them along their path as you've always done. And remember, when you uplift theirs, it makes you stronger too. Yi gua yaks zawan. I totally butchered that. Tle tlex ix jan. Mom. So this is the final letter his mother wrote to him before she passed away. And it must have been from the past because it says he had just joined the police force. That's pretty sad. But at the same time, it's actually nice that he has that memory of his mother. You know? <clears throat> what 
the fuck is that? A secret keeper in her secret keep. Oh. The Book of Goblins? Look at Maybe this. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Is this a puzzle box or something? Oh, God, it was so poorly rendered. So this is the same symbol, right? The Secret Keeper. Yeah, so this is the Secret Keeper is the one who has the psychic powers. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. Hmm. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Because isn't that supposed to be clouds? It's supposed to be a box that looks like it's covered in clouds, right? Uh, but there's no answer here. There was Remember there was a combination? The combination was 1, 3, 0. And we used that last episode. But I don't see anything else that would match. Yeah. I don't see anything else that has to do with this box. The big frog is punished. Mad Hunter gets his hand back. I get the feeling this is going to have significance, this story. But the Mad Hunter? I think so. But I don't know. I'm reading the story. I don't see anything of any significance. That's going to allow me to solve this besides the combination 130. But outside of that, I don't see anything else. And I can't seem to do anything else with it. Maybe that's for later in the episode, do you think? Because it's the same... It's definitely the same box from the story. Because he said they reached into the clouds and stole the memories. So that box looks like it's a bunch of clouds, right? So obviously there's memories in there. But I don't see how that story explains to me how to open the box. Secret keeper and her secret keep. Yeah. Especially because, look, there's nothing I can do to interact with the box. It just says, look, that's it. Looks like this is coin operated. Oh, coin operated. Looks like this is coin operated. So if I could find a coin, I can open the box with a coin. Okay. Fergo tipped me $5 and says, hope you and the family are well, big man. Sending support from Glasgow, Scotland. Thank you, Fergo. Uh, doing well? Uh, certainly. And looking forward to seeing how this all ends today. So thank you for the support. We are almost at $80 a tip so far, guys. Thank you for the support on the stream, man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I guess we have to look for a coin somewhere. Could there be a coin somewhere in the house? <clears throat> so far, I haven't seen one. I guess we could look in the kitchen. Maybe there'll be some coins in the kitchen. Oh, wait. There's more. Oh! There's a memory in the doorway? No, it vanished. Not right. Yeah. What is this? She keeps having flashes to memories that aren't real. The memories are disappearing. Something's going on. Oh, God. I always loved this one. You did? You love that one. Wow. There's some interesting taste. <clears throat> Derek says Allison is his favorite character in the game. All right, I read that. What's this? I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. A tisket, a tasket, a wicker woven basket. 
<laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, the waffles. You eat the waffles? I can't really eat anything right now. You just said you were hungry because you didn't eat, and you come down, you can't eat. What? I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Hoy. Chance it's called drugs. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what's over here? <clears throat> I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. Shooting some hoops? I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Who's Michael? Would he even get it? Who the fuck's Michael? A jukebox. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. Pretty cool they have a jukebox. I wonder what Tyler's up to out of the house. Oh, look. Is that one of the figurines? I don't know. I don't think there's a way to go outside, though. It looks like it's locked. <clears throat> what is that? I haven't had any time to sketch lately. Oh, she used to draw, huh? Yeah, look at that. Glass globe. Hmm. Oh, you put something inside of a glass globe and then plug it up. Derek says waffles are good, but he prefers pancakes. Depends for me what I'm feeling. I think pancakes with, like, fruit and stuff is good. Plain pancakes, not so much. I would probably take plain waffles over plain pancakes. God. <clears throat> the world feels so fucking small right now. Space Needle. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. They certainly sell a ton of trinkets like that at the real Space Needle. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. This is coins. Take a coin. There you go. All right. Open. What's this? <clears throat> her wallet. Yep. Her driver's license. First and middle name. Alice. She doesn't have a middle name. What a lazy parent to not give the, their, their daughter a middle name. It's ridiculous. All right, we're gonna go use that coin operation. Must be for the great box. to feel like you belong somewhere, <clears throat> anywhere. His clan, his native clan, native peoples. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Not after the fight. That's probably the application for the rental. What's this? Michael's special creamy crab hot pot. Saute green onion and garlic in melted butter over low to medium heat. Add celery and carrot and wait until they're soft. Add potatoes, vegetable broth, and season to taste. Celery, salt, black pepper, paprika, crushed red pepper flakes. Cover and simmer until potatoes are cooked. Add creamy corn and crab meat, fresh parsley, heat and simmer. Serve in hot bowls with wedges of lemon on the side. Enjoy. That actually sounds pretty fucking good, I'm not going to lie. That sounds good, man. I could go for that. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. Don't forget her B day. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. All right, so before we do the, the application there, let's go back and see if we can open that box. <clears throat> crab hot pot, dude. Come on. That sounds amazing. I want some crab. Secret keeper in her secret keep. Insert coin. No way. It worked. A new collectible, the secret keeper. So who is the secret keeper? Supposedly the secret keeper is who gave them their psychic abilities. The only person it could be is Tessa, right? Could Tessa have psychic abilities and somehow gave it to the kids? I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're getting at or not. It says fat cat on the back of my jersey. No, it does not. I already showed everyone on pre-stream. I'll show you guys too, since you're so interested. You ready? This is something I can actually do now. Look at this. Okay, it's very exciting. I know you guys wanted to see that. Okay. I can actually do that now. <clears throat> All right. Let us... 
Here's the file. Here we go. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were oh, here we go again. Us. How could you do this to me? What the? Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. She's having, she's having ID memories of Mary Ann. Yeah. So ID and pay stubs probably right over here. What Sad. if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Hmm. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Who the fuck's Tina? Who's that? I don't know who Tina ah, is. Here's my ID. Yep. Uh-oh. This place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. Huh? And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? Huh? You're not my child. Whoa! My clan deserves better. What the hell's going on? Did that even really happen? Stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Yeah, did that even really happen? Or is she having crazy things happen in her head? You know what? Oh, shit. You know what's happening? I think because she's going through emotional turmoil just like her mother was. Uh, Allison, please. Uh-oh. start I think because she's going through emotional turmoil now she's she's seeing hallucinations as a result of her powers I think the same thing happened to the mother the mother was having a really tough time in life and was having these hallucinations that were making her go crazy I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories but he wouldn't listen yeah so previously it was memories. Now she's actually having hallucinations. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? Huh? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. Huh. <laughs> Me. Yeah, did, 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 I don't think these are memories. I think these are her fears, like her subconscious fears. I think that's what's going on. Not here. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> here? Here they are. They? It's a single piece of sheet of paper. <laughs> okay. I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Oh. Where did I leave my phone <clears throat> last night? Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. The Mad Hunter. What the hell? What's wrong with me? Phone should be somewhere nearby. No, it's not. What the hell? Oh, it's in another room. The basement? What lies beneath? Hmm. Whoa. <clears throat> the mother, yeah. My dove. What 
the hell? Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. What was this? What is she? She's what losing it. <clears throat> it used to just be memories. Now she's seen crazy things. And maybe this is what happened to the mother. No, no, no. I cannot deal with you. Oh, my phone. I need to find it. Oh, that was just the staircase back up. Not here. What? <laughs> Oh, no phone here. What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. Mm -hmm. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. Oh god, you mean it's just I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. Dee's birthday try gift. Again. Some kind of a dog thing? Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> Since she's into huskies and, and, and dog racing, right? I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. Photo book. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. This is a totally different life. You should have taken care of this is a totally different life. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Do I like huskies? I think huskies are cute. I don't know. I never I never had an interaction with huskies. With getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. Carol is his his wife who passed away, correct? I think so. I've got enough time to carve something for D. Okay. <clears throat> if I could have a football team, what would it be called? And what animal would I choose as El Grey Zorro? It would be the Fargo Flatworms. Here you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She made exactly what she drew. <clears throat> How exciting. What's this? Tyler and I should bike around the <clears throat> lake. <clears throat> Bikes. When we've patched things up. Oh, there's irreparable irreparable damage there. You're never gonna patch things up. A rubber rubble damage. Ha ha ha! A rubber rubble damage. Alaska Department of Fish and Game. A salmon fishery permit. I told you, Sam. I called it. I said salmon should be a part of the game, and indeed it is. All right, so he has a salmon life fishing license. You're allowed 25 salmon. <clears throat> Each additional member is allowed 10 salmon and 10 flounders. <clears throat> Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. There's three different rods. Okay. Salmon! <clears throat> Do 
Morning. What are hey, they doing here? Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. <clears throat> She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake. Since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out of here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? Mm. No, he's uh, busy out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. <clears throat> I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? Shit. <laughs> he has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. It's yes, sure, we're just making course, shit up, right? Totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Is she barefoot? Oh, of course. <laughs> she walked out rest. there in socks. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. You know how frozen her feet okay. must be? Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Oh, I'll have to collect Sorry my voice acting paycheck. Bye. Pro tip. Hello, Cheerio. We're catching a ride going? with Tom at all costs. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. Uh. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Oh, great. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, <laughs> good. Because I did not plan to. I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. Hey, you want some cold waffles? <laughs> Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. Yeah, what did you eat? I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, <laughs> I just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. I got a feeling. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Allison, what's going on? Yeah, might as well tell him. Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? What? And then build up to the big stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. It's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <clears throat> Hello to low carb madman. Good afternoon to you as well. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. 
Check Beat it out. Dispensary? Great. Let's go. Let's go token. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Whoa! Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh, she is losing it. She's losing her mind, just like her mom did. Oh, yep. God. Allison, Allison, look at me. You okay? I'm just... Um... Yeah? I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? <clears throat> tell them or don't tell them. Ah, fuck it. Let's let someone else know. Let's see what happens. Let's try to make the game more interesting. God, everything. <clears throat> My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now it's not. <clears throat> now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's Girl, you nuts. I'm, I'm sorry, has... <laughs> you gotta go to a doctor. Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but... Nothing exactly like this. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you. Okay? I hear, I hear you. you. You're fucking nuts. Damn. I'm calling the white... You're coming with the white coats right after this. <laughs> Going to the funny farm. Enough of this. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but <clears throat> they're all so far away and so expensive. Yeah, that's the fucking problem with healthcare. Well... It's not free in the U.S. <laughs> you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want. I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? All right. Go with the flow. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with D. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hmm. <clears throat> so now we're getting some insight into what might have actually happened with the mother, that she just started seeing crazy hallucinations like she's seeing now. <clears throat> Ah, wow. Great. Men with hair buns are a great litmus, te litmus, te litmus test for low IQs. Wow. Whew. Why grow out the hair that long if you're just going to bun it up? Why not just let it flow? Let the locks flow, right? That's a shame to just, you know, to tie it up like that, I feel. <clears throat> 